Sometimes the reasons for the return of an old story are more interesting than the story itself. With the NDP edging ahead of the other two parties into a clearer lead, there's no shortage of people with an interest in taking the party and its leader down a few notches. And so, as the country's political classes head home for summer, inside sources on the NDP leader's Tory flirtation make the rounds for the third time, or is it the fourth? The story of how Mulcair was courted by the federal conservatives was first reported shortly after T happened in 2007 when he had just quit as environment minister in Jean Charest's Quebec Liberal government. It came up again when the NDP needed to replace Jack Layton in 2011. Then in 2012, the Toronto Star rehashed the story, adding a new detail that suggested Mulcair's principles might be negotiable. Mulcair insisted on a salary of $150, oh, oh, oh and walked away when his terms weren't met, according to that account. In the newest version of the story, McLean's doubles the amount Mulcair was holding out for to $300, oh, 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 an amount in the range of the Prime Minister's salary. Mulcair is said to have declined an offer of $180, oh, oh, oh. But neither story explains why Mulcair instead chose to follow a course that was both less certain and d less lucrative, running for a party that held no seats in Quebec, in a riding that had long been considered a safe liberal seat. By winning that contest, Mulcair qualified for the salary of a member of parliament, which was at that time about $140. Oh, oh, oh. Mulcair says he also rejected a lucrative offer from a private law firm. Money was never the issue, because I was still interested in serving my fellow citizens, he said.